I know a lot of you are still waiting on your California middle class tax refund. So you might be wondering, are you getting a debit card instead? And I do have a video that covers who should be expecting a debit card. So check that out if that might apply to you. But in today's video, I want to cover some of the questions that you guys have about the MCTR debit card. And the number one question that I'm getting is, can you just withdraw the money? And yes, you can just withdraw the money. However, there are daily withdrawal limits. It seems like the debit card itself is going to limit you to a $600 daily withdrawal limit. So that'll be fine if you are just an individual who is only getting the amount back for yourself. But if you're married, filed jointly, or you have dependents, that likely means that you're going to get more than $600 back. So you might need to withdraw the money over a couple of day time period. The other question that people are asking me is if there are ATM machines that you can withdraw the money without being charged a fee. And yes, it seems like at most CVS's, most Walgreens, and at AM PM locations inside of my favorite gas station, Arco, if you use their ATMs, it looks like you will not be charged any type of fee for withdrawing the money. Of course, another option is to go into your bank and get the funds back that way in person with a teller. However, according to the website, it looks like there might be a fee of $1.25 for doing an in-person withdrawal transaction. All right, guys, I'm going to link this website in the description of the video down below. So check that out if you have more questions and let's get into what exactly the website says. From the Franchise Tax Board website, which is ftb.ca.gov, once you're in that middle class tax refund section, right at the top, it shows you what the debit card is going to potentially look like and it says that they have partnered with Money Network. So it says FTB and Money Network. Some taxpayers will receive their payment on a debit card. FTB has partnered with Money Network to provide payments distributed by debit card. Visit the How You'll Receive Your Payment section for more information. Once you're on the Money Network website, you're gonna follow the steps to activate your California middle class tax refund card. So to get started, you're going to activate your card and you'll set your own four digit pen number. If you need to, you can call 1-800-240-0223 to check your balance. I'm going to read that number once again. That's 1-800-240-0223. Right under the instructions for activating the card and setting your four digit pen number, they do have the cardholder agreement links and fee schedule and transaction limit links. And that's where I'm getting those amounts. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Then I'm going to go ahead and view the PDF. So if you go to an out of network ATM, they're going to charge you $1.25. So for example, I bank with Wells Fargo, but Wells Fargo is not in the money networks network. And so if I just withdrew the funds from Wells Fargo, I would be charged $1.25 for doing that. On the Money Network website, there is a link at the top for an ATM locator. You can use that to find out the ATMs that are in your area that are in their network where you wouldn't have to pay the $1.25 ATM withdrawal fee. So again, to avoid paying any unnecessary fees when you're withdrawing the money, I would just make sure that you're using one of the ATMs that is within their network and going ahead and using that ATM locator at the top of their website to make sure that you're going to be withdrawing the funds from an approved ATM. And of course you can use this like you would use any other credit card. Anywhere that accepts Visa will also accept this as payment. However, from experience working in customer service, if you just use it like a credit card, once the balance starts to decrease, 
if you're trying to make a purchase and there's no longer enough funds on the card to cover the entire purchase, you're going to need to know the exact number of dollars that you have left on your card so that you can tell the retailer that you're trying to use the card at because they won't have access to that information. And if you are using it just as a credit card and you need to know that balance, that's gonna be that 1-800 number as well. So even though it seems like it's gonna take a little bit longer to get the debit cards, it should be pretty easy to use. Let me know if you have any questions about this debit card in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching Shelly's Millions. I'll see you next time.